Hey guys, my name is Jeremy with TheWarriorSolution.com. In this video, we're talking about Grim Survival Tools. They make credit card size metal tools that have been laser cut out. This particular card is the Grim key card, and it is basically a lockpick set with handcuff shim, lock, uh, handcuff key, file, and saw, and then two tension wrenches, and then the picks you see here you know, basic rakes and hooks and things. This is the spool micro tool for wrapping fishing line or paracord or duct tape. This one is small enough where you can actually replace a zipper pull on a bag or jacket. And they also make dog tag shaped survival tools as well. This is the fishing kit, so it's got uh, three different fishing hooks and three different lures which you can use in a survival situation. So currently my overall opinion of uh, metal credit card size tools like this are that they're they're pretty much gimmicky and not really worth it. Um, the metal used is pretty commonly too flimsy and just not not very high quality at all. It's more of a more of an impulse buy than something you're actually going to use. So. We'll see if Grim Survival falls into that category or if they are in a category all their own. My first impressions just picking up this lockpick set is that it's, it's fairly heavy for what it is. This doesn't feel like really cheap metal, which is a good sign. It feels pretty solid overall. And I have not opened this or interacted with it other than just physically picking it up. So, Feeling the tools themselves. All right, this looks looks pretty promising so far. The very cool thing about Grim Survival is that unlike normal, you know, laser cut metal credit card size tools and things like that, you can actually put the tools back into the original shape and configuration that it's in here. So if I were to remove this lockpick, let's see how this works. Basically there's a, what is referred to as a semi-permanent adhesive underneath the tools. And then on the back side, this white side is a permanent adhesive. So if you wanted to stick this somewhere specific so you knew exactly where it was at all times, that's an option. So let's pry this out of here. All right, so not bad. All right, first first impressions actually hold in the pick. It is pretty strong. It doesn't want to bend, which is good. Good sign, let's get rid of those for now. And let's see here, let's go with this one as well. Ouch. you can. And that is very cool. So this is the first credit card size metal survival tool or utility tool I've ever seen where you can actually put the tools back and reuse them. All right so let's see how these Grim survival tools lock picks actually work. This is a master lock. It's a master number five and it does work. So let's see what's up with these picks here. And just just as a disclaimer, I'm not a professional locksmith or you know 
I have tons of experience lock picking and self-taught and pretty much an amateur so don't base the tools ability to open a lock on my ability to pick this lock or any other lock with them what I'm doing is basically just looking at the overall function of the tools themselves and the you know usability of them and things like that all right let's see how the grim survival tools does against a set of real handcuffs here is the key and here is the shim key is a little difficult to use because it's not the normal shape of a handcuff key with a circular shape with a hollow bit in the middle. It's a flat piece of metal obviously so getting it in and out of the keyways is a little bit awkward. But other than that it works really well. So looking at the handcuff this way you're going to insert it on the portion closest to where your wrist would be, rotate counterclockwise to about right around in this direction, right around right here. Add more pressure and that is your unlock. So that's the key. The shim is going to be inserted into the slot between the teeth here in the body of the cuff here and our goal is to cover up these three teeth with the shim itself so you know you've got it right when this part of the tool focus when when this part of the tool goes all the way in basically like this then you know you can open the jaw like normal so how to do this, insert your shim as far as you can into that slot between the jaws and the body of the cuffs and you'll get a point where it will stop and not go in any further. At that point you're going to have to add a little bit of pressure on the shim itself as well as close the jaws of the cuff just a little bit more. So now Notice where the tool is at, how far it's in. Now my jaws will open like that. So, Grim Survival Tools handcuff key and handcuff shim definitely works as advertised really well actually. Very cool. My overall score for the Grim Survival Grim key card lockpick set and handcuff key and shim is going to be a four out of five a pretty solid four out of five the reasons i did not give it a perfect score of five out of five are twofold number one the tools themselves when you pull them out of the metal and actually start using them especially the picks specifically when you use the picks they are sharp and I mean like like knife blade sharp almost so these cuts and things on my fingers all came from messing around with the picks and picking these two locks as well as you know escaping the handcuffs a few times so that's the the biggest complaint I have is just that the the edges of the tools are sharp the second thing is the strength of the metal itself. It is significantly better than any other, you know, credit card sized survival tool that I've ever used, especially because it's reusable. You know, these all come out, but you can stick them right back in and do that as much as you'd like, which is awesome. After 
extended use, the metal starts to fatigue and you'll start to see a little bit of deformation and bending and things like that. Is that you know a deal breaker? Absolutely not. I think Grim Survival Tools are definitely the best credit card tools I've ever used. And I am going to be keeping this little thing here with me as an emergency lockout kit. Moving on to the Grim Survival Hook and Lure dog tag. So this is a dog tag which has three fishing hooks and three lures on it. And it also comes with a dog tag silencer and a small chain so you can actually put it on your dog tags and wear it like you normally would. So that's cool. And then you have the tool itself which has that same black semi-permanent adhesive on the tool side and the white if you wanted to stick it somewhere permanently. So let's go ahead and pull one of these out and see what's up with this. So this is a hook and a lure in one. So how this would work is you take your fishing line or paracord guts or whatever you have, obviously you put your hook on one end, but right above the hook you would run your line through this on both ends where you see the holes here and that will act as your lure. So it's a shiny reflective piece that sparkles and then the fish are attracted to it so you don't actually have to go looking around for bait. That all sounds really cool in theory, and I think I'm going to take this out and actually test it and see if I can catch fish with it. As far as the strength of the steel and everything, it's the same gauge as the lockpick set. So it's nice, solid feeling steel. I don't think this is going to be any issue at all as far as you know, long-term wear and use and things like that. So that's cool. And then again, the, the coolest thing about this is the fact that you can just stick it right back on where you got it from and reuse it over and over and over again. Along with the fishing kit, Grim Survival also sent out this spool micro tool. And this little guy is for spooling fishing line or duct tape or paracord or whatever whatever cordage you want to store you just stick one in through one of these soles here and then wrap it around and around and around but the cool thing about this is that these two really small really small indents right here and here those are actually for cutting the line that you're using. So if you preload this with your fishing line and you could actually even put it inside the dog tag itself, keep that together or you know use this as a as a zipper pole or whatever. And then you've got fishing line and a fishing kit ready to go. My overall score for the fishing kit or the fishing dog tag is yet to be determined because I haven't gone fishing with it yet. But because I'm not going to be handling these hooks or lures or anything really with my fingers, the sharpness isn't an issue. I want a sharp fish hook, so that's a positive in this case. If you'd like to grab your own Grim Survival tool, click the link in the description and that'll take you straight to their website. See you in the next one.
two hours later. Hmm. Well, I have better news about the Grim Survival Tools lockpick set than I do about my actual lockpicking skills. Maybe I should have tried this without actually putting them on first, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's YouTube, quarantined. What else am I gonna do today? <laughs> I'm gonna slide the key into the top of the keyway there, then rotate counterclockwise. Once you feel it hit a little bit of pressure, add a little more rotation. Sorry, this angle's awkward. 